just pulling in here in Cozumel. We got the Carnival Pride already here. Up the way we've got the MSC ship. Cozumel. Another excursion, which is not typical of us. We don't usually do a lot of excursions, but it's 6 30 in the morning and we're just docking kind of next to the Carnival Pride. Got an MSC ship up the way, but at, uh, at 6 30 we're going to grab some breakfast at the park cafe which is one of the few places that are open this early and then we have to meet 7 30 for our excursion at the main theater you notice it's just the three of us so far because mylan is being mylan and there's a real crab so far about nothing is good enough I don't want to do this, you know, typical teenage-ish attitude. Back here in the main theater for excursion check-in. It's just because we're an early excursion, so they line us all off the ship early. Down the gangway we go. It's gonna be warm. Juanito, papi, mommy, oh. <laughs> how you guys decide, okay? Welcome guys. So now, the tour that we are doing, guys, is called Monster Jeep. We're gonna be driving. The tour is gonna be around uh, five hours, okay? The place that we're gonna be visiting today is gonna, we're gonna call it Punta Sur. Punta Sur is an ecological park. Punta Sur means southest point. It's located exactly 30, 35 minutes away from here, okay? More or less. But what we're gonna be doing in Punta Sur? Punta Sur is gonna be divided in three different places. We have the Mayan ruin with the lagoon. We have the lighthouse, and we have the beach area where we're gonna be in there for around two hours. Okay. The first stop probably is gonna be the Mayan ruin. We're gonna stop in there a little bit, a little bit blah blah blah. You know, pictures. We're gonna go to see the lagoon. We really hope to see a little bit about the natural environment over there. It's considered that the lagoon where we're gonna go, there is more than 500 crocodiles living in their natural habitat. So we're gonna be going in there, taking pictures. After that, we're gonna continue driving and our second stop is gonna be the beach area, guys. As you know, two hours in there, there is all the facilities, there is restrooms, change rooms, lockers, uh, Mexican showers, or shower with the Mexican. <laughs> okay? There is a nice place, a nice restaurant. We have the tequila tasting tour over there, or the one that decided to do the tasting. More than welcome. The water over there is gonna be the roof is gonna be a little bit foggy, so that's why we are not doing the circling. But if you guys decide to go, I mean, to go to swim a little bit, completely fine. Okay, if you guys, if you guys want. So that's that's gonna be our second stop. Third stop, the lighthouse. One of the three different lighthouses that we have in the in the whole island, but the only one where the people are allowed to climb just to take some pictures from there. An amazing place. So that's gonna be our stops. After that, we're gonna be. I'm upset. That was my dream car. Oh, Joe, 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 Joe. Welcome to our Jeep tour. Here's our pie. 
silent. Here's our teenager who rolled up her window because her hair was getting messed up. And here's Mia Finney having the time of her life in her favorite vehicle ever. Girls, what day is it? Jeep day. Um, Cosmo. Cosmo. Okay, we're off road now. We're off the pavement, driving right along the seashore. Got lots of tropical vegetation. <laughs> the pilot car lost his hubcap back there. And I can see a lighthouse up in the distance up here. It is a rough road. We're on a monster Jeep tour, but our lead car is a Nissan Versa, and it just lost its hubcap. Out the window. Hola. You guys see, it's called El Caracol. Of course, El Caracol is in Spanish, which means the conch. I don't know if you guys hear it before the sound that you can make it with a conch. If you guys remove the top of it, but if you guys blow it in the right way, it's completely possible to make a sound with it. Okay? It's the same sound that we used to get from this building. But now, let me go a step for a step, just for you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. In here... We're headed out to the lagoon. Well, apparently there are thousands of crocodiles. Mia, don't fall in the water. Our first crocodile. That's why you don't want to fall in the water. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello there. Hello. I don't know. Is that TikTok? TikTok croc? This lagoon is one that we have around Cozumel and it's the bigger one, the largest. We got difference around, but this one is the largest. Call it Colombia. Colombia Lagoon. Something interesting to know about this lagoon guy is the water. An underwater sinkhole forms the connection between the ocean and the other side of the ocean between uh, more activities today. Forms a connection between ocean and the lagoon. So basically around here we got brackish water. You know? All right, we changed drivers now, so everyone please pray for us. Carrie is behind the wheel. Notice there was no smirk or laugh or anything when I said that. Oh. Are you okay? Look at that, two and 10 like a real pro. All right, we just left the lagoon with all the crocodiles. We're back on the uh, 
dirt path, sand path, headed to the lighthouse, which you can see off in the distance. We will get to go up it. I'll make my decision on the number of steps, if it's worth it. I'm just kidding, I'm sure we'll all go up. What do you think, girls? It's cool. Mia, what do you think? I'm tired. Um, it's really fun. I like how, like, you hit a pothole and, like, the whole, like, car shakes. And it's actually really smooth. Made it to the lighthouse. Just barely. Just stop. Looks like we're at the beach or stop. Thought we were going to the lighthouse first, but. We took a, a drive up the, through the jungle along the beach and the lagoon. And, and now we are at the beach. Muy bien, welcome to my office. Okay? A little bit windy, but nice, okay? All this beach area that we have over here is completely safe. came out here. They have tables, loungers, umbrellas set up here on the beach. Unfortunately, it's too windy to open up the umbrellas. But it's so windy that it's actually pretty cool. So it probably won't be a problem. You'll be able to hear me because it's so windy. Nice sandy beach. Water looks a little seaweedy, but it's very windy, so it's stirred up a little bit. Mia's already doing what Mia does. Loves the sand. Amigos, welcome one more time. It's a pleasure to me to serve you today. And uh, one more time, my name is Rafaela. Mucho gusto, nice to meet you. Uh, Jerry, he's my brother, so he's in charge to give you the tasting. So he's you, he'll be your best friend today. Gila. This one, plata, 15 years will wait to harvest agave, plus 40 day process to distillation, 24 hour freshness from the alambique, and then came straight to the bottle. This one is the pure, this is the original tequila flavor straight 100% citric fruit aftertaste from the agave plant, okay? 
So this one is the tequila plata, is the baby. We had to make this one first to make all these ones right here. Next tequila is the tequila reposado, or you must know this one as gold tequila. Silver, gold. Tequila reposado, familia, this one been aged for three years inside in a brand new white oak barrel. So the colors, flavors, aromas, and aftertaste will be different. All depends the age that we save it in the barrels, okay? My personal favorite, this one here is our red label tequila. If you see the color, that's why the name. This tequila been aged for 15 years inside in a whiskey bourbon barrel. Now you don't need to wait. Next one. This one is me, myself, and I. The one you don't share with nobody. This is something you hide or keep it away from people you don't like and people you don't love. 28 years, save it in French oak barrel and was opened on 2020. That's why we have a limited edition to 3,000 bottles per year. One of the three, but this is the only one where the people are allowed to find the entrance is around. There is no charge for that. There is a museum over there if you want to go to visit to see the pictures, a little bit of the history of this ecological park. That's the right place. 133 steps. From bottom to top, it is very narrow. Yeah. 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 on the harmony of the shoes. All right, since we got off the ship and headed on land, we've had a couple other ships arrive. We now have the Carnival Glory that joined us, which is in the back. Where the Carnival Pride was already here this morning. They're at the other pier. And then at our pier, we have, of course, us, the Harmony of the Seas, and then the Celebrity Reflection has joined us as well. We're headed back out the pier here to the Harmony, and I see our room. Second one from the top. Underneath the lifeboats. Headed to the gangway. Had a good day in Cozumel on our tour. Now we're hungry. Might grab some pizza. Not a lot open right now.
Cozumel headed out of the room. We just had lobster tail room service delivered. Now we're going to out and head to explore for a little bit and then to dinner. Mylon wants to go to dinner. Mia wants to go to camp. Hey sir. What's up? Got up here to the sweet lounge after a couple of lobster tails on the balcony. Since we're in a suite of whatever level we're in, we can get room service, anything in the main dining room delivered. So with tonight being lobster night, we went ahead and had lobster tails delivered. We made the girls try them. Neither one of them liked them. Though none of them really tried to like them. We just came up here to see what kind of snacks they had out in the sweet lounge, maybe grab a drink, and then we're going to dinner tonight, 7.30 at Jamie's. Mia's probably going to go to camp, Mylon's going to dinner. But we're just sitting up here, enjoying the nice view. It's kind of hard to see through the windows on the camera. This side of the sweet lounge overlooks the uh, Splash Away Bay Kids Splash area. The big guy is hungry. So we're headed to Jamie's Italian. We can have some pasta. Good evening and welcome come to Jamie's Italian restaurant. Tonight for dinner, I ordered the squid as my appetizer and little Mia Finney and I are gonna share a carbonara. Um, what else are you in? Oh yeah, tomatoes. Prosciutto without the bread, just tomatoes. And I also got for the main thing I'm sharing with my wonderful mother. I got the gluten-free meat plank as an appetizer and a carbonara gluten-free for my main course. And I got a gluten-free carbonara and that's it. But I'm going to order ice cream for dessert. Just got back from dinner. The kid's bed is made. And it looks like they gave him two backpacks. <laughs> 